In this video, we're going to look at how to use Animate on Scroll to draw attention to elements on a landing page. We're going to get started using the Cadence Design Library, which has a number of possible options available here. We have both patterns that you can use in order to build out pages, or we have pages themselves. And just to make things easier, we're going to use one of these home pages that's already designed for us. We're going to prepare that content as we pull that into our test site here. And as as we see we have all of these blocks that are placed and we can edit them however we'd like. Cadence Blocks Pro has Animate on Scroll as an option for us. So when we select a block, let's say we're going to select this button here. When we go over here, we have Animate on Scroll as an option. And when we're talking about using Animate on Scroll on a page, if we're going to use it in multiple places, we want to make sure that we have a cohesive plan. Adding animation just for the heck of it wherever we go can be disruptive, can be distracting. What we're trying to do is to create a visual experience that draws a user in and responds to their action. As they scroll, things on the screen move, which entices a user to want to scroll more because they're getting a visual representation of feedback for the actions that they're taking. So like hover effects, these types of things draw a user in. So for this particular home page that we have laid out here, there are a few things that we can do in order to draw attention to these elements. Now, of course, you'd probably want to swap things out and make this your own with your own pictures, your own brand colors. And that's all very easy to do. For this call to action button, we do want to add some animation to this. So we're going to animate this as someone scrolls. This call to action button is going to float in from the bottom. So we are on that particular block. We go to animate on scroll and we are going to fade up. And we can set our animation duration, the ease, and we can also determine whether or not this is happening once per page load or if we want it to happen every time someone scrolls over something. For this particular button, we are just going to do it once as they load that page. And we want that animation duration to be just slightly longer than average. And you can test this out with this play button here and see what that looks like. So that call to action will float in likewise. Now with this particular area, we have section blocks. These are advanced images. And so both the section block and the advanced image have animate on scroll under the advanced tab. For these, we're going to set each image as something that's going to animate on scroll. So for this particular image that's floating in here, we would like that to, maybe we'll try a zoom in and see what that looks like. And we'll keep average duration. And so that will zoom in that way. And because these are within the same general area, we want them to zoom in as well. So I'm clicking on that particular advanced image. Go to the advanced tab, click on animate on scroll, and we are going to zoom in up on that one. And let's see what that looks like. So that's going to zoom in like it's coming up from the bottom. And we're going to do the same type of thing for this image over here. Go to animate on scroll and we're going to zoom in up on that one as well. We're going to start delay on that one just a little bit later. So this one will come in first and then the start delay being longer, this one will come in slightly later. We'll have to publish to see how that works. It will give you somewhat of the effect there. As we scroll down, we see these areas here and we've got some featured images and some text below. And let's see how these are laid out. So for this, we have another advanced image, but let's say we want that whole section to be animated instead of just the image. So we can go over here and make sure we select the entire section there. There are a number of ways of selecting the section, but I just wanted to show you how that list view shows you how that page is organized and allows you to dive into a specific section quite easily. So I'm going to go to the advanced tab here and I'm going to animate on scroll that entire section. This means that the image and the text below it are going to be affected by the selection I make. And I would like this to fade up on this one because we have three elements. And so I want these to kind of come in one 
two, three. So we're gonna fade up on all of them, but we're going to set our delay different for all of them. So this one, the start delay, we're gonna set this, we're just gonna to try to make these equidistant, make this 500, and so that one, let's see how that looks, perfect. All right, here, we're gonna make sure we are on that section block and it confirms up here for you. So if we click on this headline, we see that the headline's there. If we click over here, it goes to the section and if we clicked here, it would go to that row layout, which is the container for all three of those sections. So we are on the section and we're gonna go to advanced again and we want this to be related to what we had on the first one. So I'm gonna go here and we are going to, we had fade up, right? So we're gonna fade up on that and and keep the duration the same but our start delay we had 500 before let's set this one at 1200 so it's just a little bit later okay perfect and then we'll go to this section here go to advanced and we go to animate on scroll and again we are doing a fade up on that and we are going to start our delay for that one later so let's do let's do 2000 and see how that works so we have animate on scroll set for all of those sections we can confirm that that is going to come in that way so we've got our start delays we'll see how it looks here we have another photo and a testimonial. Now let's say we want this entire area here to float in. We want the picture to stay, but the text this time we're gonna move. So we're going to make sure we are on that section and we can go to animate on scroll. And let's say, let's do something a little bit different. We're going to fade left. And so that's gonna slide in from the right like that. And let's say we want that animation duration to be a little bit longer. We can set this over here and see how that looks. So it's nice and gentle there. We could do the same for any of these if we wanted that duration to be a little bit longer. And in this area, we only have the photos moving in. We don't wanna do anything else. So let's go ahead and publish this page and just see what it looks like that we can do with animate on scroll. And of course, I have to change the page settings for that, but we see that button coming in and then we see those images coming in and let's do that again. Let's see how those three things came in. You might wanna change the settings on duration or the start times on these guys because they're moving at the same time, which can be very distracting. We want to isolate the movement on the page so that it makes sense and it calls attention, but it's not too distracting. So I think the way I have these set up might be a bit distracting. I hope this gives you an idea of things that you can do with Animate on Scroll. Again, it works for buttons, it works for images, it works for the advanced text block. It works for sections. There's so much that you can do. Really, it's up to your creativity to determine how you're going to use Animate on Scroll.